Hi, my name is Susana Simões, and I am the current president of the Spiritist Federation of Florida. We are extremely excited to be hosting in our state the 11th Spiritist Symposium on May 6th. We hope to see everyone there. Okay, Sandra, I'm going to tell you two words. And once I say these two words, just tell me, please, the first thing that comes to your mind, okay? Okay. So the words are divine justice. Divine justice in my mind is when God is divine justice. I agree 100%. Alan Kardec. Progress. Progress. It's for everybody. That's, that's what came to me right away. For me, progress means we're always on a path towards enlightenment and betterment. And divine justice is really part of progress, too. In other words, he doesn't punish us just to punish us. Whenever we do something that we believe is incorrect, that causes pain or suffering to us, um, it's not because God wanted us to suffer. It's just simply, in my opinion, an experience that we're having to learn. Well, it's because I've read um, a lot of the, you know, the codification and uh, it talks a lot about divine law and I think we're all here for the purpose of getting to the point where we are at the divine law. God is just to everybody. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that God is punishing mm -hmm. anybody. Divine justice to me, when I now reflect on that from a spiritist point of view, is that, you know, it's cause and effect. And I think that's what governs everything is the divine law. So when you look at the world as it is today, with all the inequalities and all the differences, the disparities that we see among different countries, for example, um, or you know people who are apparently uh, very healthy and they have everything in life, and so many people who lack the very basic, how do you reconcile this with divine justice? Well, I think we're going through a period of adjustment in the world, and I think that we are going to um, go through a bad period for a while, and eventually people are going to start getting more spiritual. I think we all need it. Well, it's hard to see justice, because obviously the, my first reaction is to think it's just not fair. Mm -hmm. Life isn't fair. Um, but it, it is, and I think, again, God is not punishing us. We are at different levels of evolution, and we're learning. And sometimes as we learn, we make mistakes along the way. You know, there must be a reason that I still don't understand why this is happening. Okay. Okay. And uh, I see uh, improvements. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you draw for me a parallel between divine justice and reincarnation? Reincarnation for me is the way that we can, um, what's the best way to put this, we can experience that divine justice by having the opportunity to, to realize what we did in the past, the good and the bad. Um, so reincarnation is, is a mechanism where eventually we'll get to that divine justice. Have you ever doubted the um, divine justice? Yes, mm -hmm. I think I have, you know. Is there a specific circumstance? Um, probably when I got cancer. Mm -hmm. But then when we learn about how all the ailments of the body are because of things that have happened in prior lives and everything, then it all just falls together. And, you know, I understand that's divine law. Do you see a parallel between the idea of divine justice and karma? To me, karma, karma just means there's a reaction to every action. From what I know of karma, and I'm no expert to say you know, exactly what is karma, but um, karma, my interpretation of karma is it's something that you've, actions you've taken in the past has come back to, to hold you, for once a better way of putting it. Is God fair? Always. Oh. Absolutely. Absolutely. How do you know? You believe what you know. In my experience, all I've seen is that eventually, what goes around comes around eventually, whether it's in this life or in other lives. 
It makes me more peaceful, more in harmony in my heart believing that. A what?